Hey everyone, I'm making a video about the binomial th theorem just to clarify some things and where it comes from. Um, the binomial theorem is just a tool that can help us expand binomials. And as I've mentioned before, binomials are uh, things of the form a plus b that have two terms. In this case, we have a binomial here because we got a plus b to the third power. Um, and in general, we can, we can use the binomial theorem and it's just a tool. Um, we don't have to really understand where it comes from, at least for the purposes of this class. Um, we can we can learn to use it. Um, it's just a tool to, to help us expand binomials. And we can use this here formula. And I'll explain what it means in a second. And I might do an example just with the binomial theorem and then an example with Pascal's triangle and, and show you which one I would choose personally. Um, so, that, so it might be a two-part video, we'll see. Um, so we have here this M looking thing, and then I'm just about to blow some people's minds. N minus K, Y to the K. Okay, so what, what is this saying? <laughs> so this is saying, um, first of all, what, what is this thing here? Um, that thing there means sum. And as you may may know, that means adding. So we're adding a bunch of terms, and this sub uh, index here means start at zero, and we're going all the way up to n, whatever n happens to be. Okay. Now this you might um, have seen before. That's just n choose k, and normally we would write n choose k, which is the same thing. Um, it's just another form of saying the same thing, okay? And this is, okay, take the first part, raise it to the n minus k, and then take the sec times, actually, the second term, raise it to the k. Okay, and we start at 0, so k equals 0, and then we go up to n. And so what, what does that even look like? Well, let's do, let's do this example here, a plus b to the third power. Okay. So I'm going to leave that up right up there, and I'm going to use the binomial theorem, a plus b to the third power. Okay, notice that in this case, 3 is my n. Okay, great. So I am going to use the formula here. Use the formula, Luke. And I start at 0, because that's where I need to start always. So start at 0. And I'm going up to n, which in this case is 3. Okay, of n, uh, choose k, x n minus k times y minus k. Okay, and now you might notice that I didn't put a 3 in here and a 3 in there. And that's, that's uh, because when we expand this thing, remember, this is just the, the addition of many terms. In fact, it's... Uh, three terms, and, and I'll see, and, and I'll show you what I mean. So, for the first term, for the first term of our sum, we start by saying, okay, let's let k equal zero. Great. So, what we're going to do here is say, okay, n is three, so I'm going to do three choose zero. Okay. Now, this becomes my coefficient. Okay, my coefficient. And then I have times x. Remember, this is all being multiplied. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. Times x to the 3 minus 0 times y to the 0 power. Okay, great. So that's that's the first one. So I started at zero. Now I go up to one, and that I'm going to tack on with a with an addition because this is a sum, right? I'm representing sums here. I might do another video on just um, this notation, or I can link to this no a video on this notation that I can find online, or we'll see what I do. Um, okay, so we did the zeroth term. Now let's do the first term. Same deal n is 3, now we're doing the first term, okay, like that, x to the 3 minus 1 times y to the first power, 
Great, now let's do the second term. 3 choose 2 times x to the 3 minus 2 times y to the second power. And we have to go all the way up to 3. We have 0, 1, 2, and we have to do 3. And here we have 3 choose 3. 3 choose 3 times x to the 3 minus 3 times y to the third power. And remember, these dudes are the coefficients, right? Um, 3, just th 3 choose 3 just happens to be 1. So here we have x to the third power times y to the 0 power. It's just y. So I'm, not gonna, I'm sorry, it's just 1. So I'm not even going to write that. Okay. Now, uh, three, choose, 3 choose 1 is 3. So that's 3. Okay. And then I have x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, times y to the first power. Okay. Um, and then my next one is 3 choose 2 is also 3. <laughs> times x to the 3 minus 2, which is 1 power, y to the second power. And 3 choose 3 is 1 x to the 3 minus 3 is zero, uh, x to the 0th power, so that's just 1, and I'm left with y to the 3rd power, and that's, that's my expansion. That's pretty complicated. On the next video, I'll show you guys how to do uh, this, this exact same thing with um, Pascal's triangle, and I'll show you what that means, okay?